Today, I've got an interesting story for you. How to build houses in an agile way. Because, as I will tell you, the right way to build a house is not plan driven, not waterfall driven, even though it might appear that way, but it's actually a very agile endeavor. So story time. We have a house and a couple of years ago, we went and we essentially removed the entire top portion of it. We, we took off the entire roof, except for, except for the big, whatever they call the big blocks of wood that carry the weight of the roof. We removed all of the walls except for half of one. And then we recon reconstructed the whole thing. So it was, it was a quite building a house, but it was the next best thing. It was removing essentially the entire house. And of course we had an architect and the architect, she drew a beautiful plan and you know, it was going to be, this is the roof. If you look at it from the top and it was going to have three windows on the roof on this side and three windows on, on the other side. And you could have just gone and uh, measured the position of each window and said, okay, this is precisely where the sh window should be. And you know, this is exactly how high the window should be, etc., etc. But it was very well understood that all of this was just a roadmap, let's call it. Because there were, of course, the, the big structural members on the in the roof structure in there somewhere, and we didn't know where yet. So this was just sort of a description of intent. There is going to be a window over there someplace, and we'll know more once we've opened up the roof. And sure enough, we opened the roof, we discovered where the where the big joists, I think that's the word, where the joists are. And that's the point where we could say, okay, fine, we're going to decide on the dimensions of the windows now, we're going to order them, we're going to put them in once they arrive. So even though you might be forgiven for imagining that building houses is sort of the the, the the closest expression you can get to a waterfall process. You have a plan and then, I don't know, a backhoe arrives and it digs a hole and then somebody brings the bricks and you, you stack the bricks until you're done with a house. But this is not how it happens. This is an ongoing process of discovery and conversation um, to the point that they even had something like a stand-up, right? Every day, the architect would show up and gather all of the workmen around her and, and say, okay, um, electrician, how's it coming along? Ah, you're done with that room over there. Uh, drywall person, how's it going along with the dry, drywall? Oh, you're also done with this other room. Okay, in that case, electrician, grab, um, grab the building owner, ask him where he wants the, the sockets, because now you can you can uh, pull your electrical wires because the drywall is done. And of course, nobody called this agile. They just call it common sense. But of course, this is what it was. This this was your traditional stand up. They were also all standing up, to be honest. So building houses, contrary to what you might have in your head, is very much an agile activity. Yes, there are plans. And yes, there are drawings on those you know, plans and you could, you could try to measure them, but they are just, in many cases, just roadmaps, expressions of intent. We think there will be six windows on, in this roof. The details will be determined at the right time. So I suggest that you take inspiration from this and say, okay, well, if somebody can actually build a brick house and be agile about it, I should be able to build software in an agile way with even greater ease.